All right, one question I received recently was uh, like this. This person enjoys doing street scenes, but said, I can never get my windows in perspective, the windows of the stores on the streets. Well, let's take a look at that. All right, let's just do a little playing with this and, and let's see if I can help you solve that problem. One is, um, if you're doing a street scene, uh, chances are, uh, I'm going to do this quick tip from the point of view that you would be perhaps uh, looking down the street, perhaps there'll be stores on either side or maybe in many cases tall buildings on either side and those make wonderful subjects to play with in painting. Um, and so let's assume that's where you are. Well in that case, the way you're going to be looking, we have this little this thing called one-point perspective. Now, don't let that scare you because there's nothing to it. It's just uh, something that we can use as a tool. So what that means is, well, let's, I'm going to just a little playing with the brush here on the canvas and let's just, um, let's just uh, explore here what we'd be talking about. All right, so uh, let's say we have a street and let's say the street would be about right here something like that, and I'm just playing. All right, so, and you're looking down at that street, and you have a building right here. Um, well, you have, let's say that's, that's the last building you see, that's the edge of the last building you see, and maybe the edge of the last building you see on this side would be about right there. Um, let's say this last building that you see, maybe is about that tall, and you have this street. Well. Where you're standing or sitting um, is what we call an eye level, and that produces what we call what we call a hor horizontal level or horizontal line. That may not make sense to you, but it is the line wherever you're looking. Everything is going to be absolutely horizontal. Well, that makes more sense, doesn't it? Now, so suppose I'm standing about right here. And I suppose I'm looking straight here. All the lines I see right in there are horizontal. That right there is what we call a vanishing point. The vanishing point is always on that horizontal line or the horizon line, um, or you can just call it the vantage point line. So that all those that mean what that means is every horizontal line or, or every horizontal edge is going to be leaning towards that line. And if you can learn to do that, you'll be able to put the windows in your street scenes and they will all look correct. Windows, doors, and everything. So let's just make up something here. Let's make up some buildings. So all the building, all the edges of the buildings are going to be vertical, straight up and down. Unless the building is leaning, you know, unless something like Irma came through and the buildings are leaning. Um, they're, they're going to be vertical and straight up and down. So you can simply look at how, uh, how close they are together and you can make your, your, kind of your vertical lines. Um, let's say the street might be something like this. this. You might be standing about right here and I will just put an end of that about right there. Now, uh, so, so you're standing a little bit over like this point right here and there's the vanishing point right there, and this is the heart. Let's just make a little imaginary line right there. That's your van now. Every line, every line in your building, all your buildings. It doesn't matter. Um, doesn't matter how tall they are. You could have a little short building right here. All those would be well. Let's say we could have a uh, walkway there. Now, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. Let's just do that. There might be a walkway right here. I'll just get that just a moment. Every line has got to be vanishing towards that point. Now, I did something here that I might need to correct because I assumed uh, this and this might be tilted right, but I need to take a second look at that. And I might need to change that. Now, let's take a second look. If I'm standing right here, there's the vanishing point. This line of the street, first of all, is going to be turned towards that vanishing point. So I need to correct that. What I would do, here I'd go and then come right back to where I'm standing. That line is going to be tilted towards that vanishing point. 
What about this line? Is it tilted? Well, look at that. Happened to get that right. Now, all the other ver uh, horizontal lines are going to be tilting towards that vanishing point. All right, let's start right here. Let's suppose we have a we have a window. We have a window. Well, let's see. No, we need to tell those buildings apart, don't we? Let's just do this. Let's just. Uh, well, let's don't do that. Let's do this. If that that would be like that. So you said you can't make any assumptions about about tops, uh, roofs, or anything else because if they are horizontal, they're going to be tilting towards that vanishing point. So let's say vanishing point. Where is the top of this building? Well, you just go from the vanishing point right up there. There's the top of this building. All right, so what about this building right over here? Where is the top of that one? Uh, okay, let's see. That vanishing line would be going just like that. And let's see. What about um, what about this building? What about? Well, let's see if we want this one to start right here. Where is that? Well, now if we if, if it's moving this way, if we can see the if we can see the side of the building like that, we're looking straight at it. Uh, then we won't have that tilt. Now, let's look at what the windows are going to be doing. Uh, so, we have a window right here. Maybe I need a smaller brush for that. Let's go here for a smaller brush. Okay. We have a window right here, right at the vanishing point. So that, the edge of that window is going to be pointing right at that vanishing point. If we have a window here, then the edge of this window is going to be pointing right here towards the vanishing point. So, so suppose that window is a, it's a real, a real large storefront window that goes way up. Suppose it ends right here. Well then that is going to point right down towards that vanishing point. The sides will stay vertical. Alright, let's do, let's do a few more because I want to drive home the point. It doesn't make any difference where uh, it doesn't make any difference how tall the windows are. It doesn't make any difference how wide the windows are. All those top and bottom edges and any lines that any uh, horizontal lines or any lines that are moving this way with the windows are all going to point towards the same point. And you don't have to you don't have to have a ruler to do this. You can simply uh, take your brush like I'm doing here and let's say suppose we have windows up here. All right, so I get the top of the window there. That's going that way. So I can take the neck, the window beside. There might be another little window beside it. The top of it would go that way. Let me get some more paint on the brush. Now let's say the window came down. It say it ends right here. Okay, so then that one's going to tilt that way. And this one's going to tilt that way. The vertical lines will be vertical, 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 vertical. So let's see, as it comes down, let's come down to about right here. Let's say the, the, the top of a window is right here. Uh, ah, wrong. Take that away. <laughs> okay, let's say the top of the window is right here. Go to, from the vanishing point to this point right here. It goes down. And then the bottom of that window right here tilts this way. So Keep that line that way, and then we put the vertical lines on it, and it's fine. I'll take away this right here because that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Now, uh, let's suppose in this building, though, let's suppose the window does start right here. It does start on the on the uh, on the vanishing point or on the horizontal line. Okay, that's fine. So it starts there. And suppose it ends right up here. All right. Let's see. Let's make the vertical lines. Well, I may have to make them a little taller than that on just a moment. Now, if I go from here, like that, like that, make that angle, meet that vanishing point, that will make that the, the right perspective. It will look right. You see, so this one doesn't have any tilt at all because it's on the horizontal line. That's your eye level. So, uh, it, no, suppose we're coming way down here. Okay, I'm making a little bit of mess, but it doesn't matter. This is just a study. Okay, so let's say we're coming way down here. And this is way below the horizontal line. This window, way be be below, right in here. And so then I would just make it tilt. If 
the top of the whatever window door, whatever, I would make it tilt like that. And then closer down, it would tilt like that. And then you make the straight vertical line. Be sure you make those vertical lines straight because if you don't make them straight, they're not going to look right. So you could see how, uh, even though I made this up, I didn't have anything referred to, and that's kind of obvious. And, but anyway, you can see how if you will follow that same principle, wherever the windows and doors are, uh, in buildings on a street scene and some will be pushed out like this some will be moved in and whatever those that are al aligned on the street and the street down which you are looking those are all going all those those horizontal edges are going to tilt towards that one vanishing point and you, you if you need to use a ruler you can use a ruler or you could use a paintbrush and you can see this something like this I could take the edge of a paintbrush and see that I have that aligned like that. I just like to gauge it this way, but it doesn't matter. You can use whatever method you need to in order to help you see that. So I hope that clears it up. It's a very simple thing to do. Uh, just remember that that is one point perspective. That's what it means whenever you, uh, when you have a single point at which all horizontal edges are turning and they will all vanish at that point. All the vanishing is out of sight, and, but you see the effects of it, it will cause things to look right. That's the way our eyes work. So if you found this helpful, uh, we have many, many, many uh, full-length videos, and you've already heard about that if you watched our quick tips at dyingmice.com. Go there and check it out. And we've got some free stuff too, lots of free materials. Just look in the menu there and click on free stuff. It won't cost you a thing. And also, if you have uh, something that you'd like for me to do a quick tip about, write down here in the comment section, drop your comment, and let me know what it is. And we'll put you on the schedule. And there's your quick tip.